I've got an unboxing to do for you guys. Hold on. Is that lens dirty again? Maybe not. But yeah, I got a new cooler here. It's actually like a fridge cooler that we can use on the sea dory or in the back of the truck. We can do some camping and stuff. And it just came in the other day, and the box is a little beat up. We're going to open it anyway. It should be good to go. It's actually two boxes. I don't know what this little one is. We'll open it first. Well, this is like a new model there, JP50 Pro cooler slash refrigerator. So I'm excited to have this to test out for them. And I think it can be put to some good use on some adventures. So this, oh, it's a little power bank. What? To run the refrigerator? Surely not. Maybe it is. This is my little man Wesson. Come here. He's my little crazy man right here. <laughs> it is a power bank. Wow. Cool. So it comes with its own power source, I guess. I don't know how big it is. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I wonder how long this will run. Here we go. It's a 250 watt hour. Pretty serious. Now let's open the goods here. Well, what's this? Charger for it? Yeah. This thing's pretty, pretty hefty. All right, let's see what's in this big box. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little busted up. Uh, you can tell that by when we, you know, when the box arrived, it wasn't looking too great. But this looks pretty sweet. Let's bring it a little closer for you guys. Ah! Like that. Man, let's go ahead and get it off of this. Wes, can you pull that away? Thanks, buddy. This is my, my oh, wow. Nice lid. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Oh. Yeah. I'll show you what's inside, buddy. There's yeah, there's nothing right now. I don't know. So check this out, y'all. Pop this lid off. Okay, so you can ah, so you can tilt it if you want to, either direction, right? Maybe ish. So if we lock this side in, it tilts there. Okay, you lock that side, so you can open either side. It's pretty handy. And, or you can take the whole thing off. <laughs> no, this is a cover for it, I think, buddy. So you can put this on it, and it will insulate it. Like if it's hot outside or if it's in the sun. That's pretty sweet. Whoa, there's a lot of room in here. You got this huge tray that goes inside, so you can lift your stuff out. Of course, this is a charger or whatever. Not a charger, but a uh, power cord in here. It's got wheels on it. So you can roll it. Watch your toes. Oh, and it's got a handle so you can seriously roll it. This is my boat. Wow. This is nice. And it's got two normal handles so you can pick it up. Huh. So I've never owned one of these before. Uh, but I am a little bit impressed because it's a little more... Uh, I guess you could say durable and tough than I thought it was, and it's not all that heavy at all, really. Like, it's not much heavier than, like, your regular, like, a Yeti cooler of a similar size. Oh. It's a little heavy for you, buddy. <laughs> but, yeah, it's not too bad. Now we just need to plug it in. Oh, and it's got some buttons and... I don't know, a little bit of LCD display here. All right, let's see how this cover works. Man, this will be handy on the boat. And I think it might fit, like, up in the front where my little port potty is that I don't use. Oh, so this goes all the way around it. It like surrounds it 100% maybe. 
Because it has four sides on this thing. Huh. Yep, I think that's how it works. It's just like a big insulated jacket. Wait, you put your shirt on, boy. You naked up in here. So, a little bit smaller here. Ah. So right down here, it has this little clear section where you can control all the little controls. And you can still get to all the handles and everything. So you got a pocket here on the front. I wonder if it's for our little power bank. Yep. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. So I guess you can just kind of plug it in if you need like some temporary juice for it to run for a little while off the power bank. Uh, got a vent here for the actual, what do they call it, the condenser or something on the compressor on there. Wow. Pretty jam up. Let's see here. Man, this tripod's not very great for what I'm using it for, is it? Another pocket on this side, so maybe you could have two power banks in it. It would just be completely, uh, you know, self-contained. But what I'll be doing is I'll be hooking it up to my anchor power bank, and that's what will be powering it. Remember, I use it, like, off the grid or whatever. So uh, I'm going to do some tests and see just how long that thing will power it. But uh, right now I'm about to hook it up to see how everything works. If you guys want to follow along, and see how it goes and how cold it gets and things like that, check out my Instagram story, all right? At Trip Out There. All right, very cool toy, and I appreciate uh, Iceco for sending this out. This hasn't been released yet, so, uh, and of course, like I said, this is my first one, so it's going to be pretty exciting getting to use this sucker. All right, folks, hope you're having a good weekend. I know you're all ready for some adventures, and I am too, more than you know. Uh, it's just going to be... Till next week, like week after next, before I can go anywhere. Just the way life is. All right. So uh, I'll see y'all in the next video or adventure. What's up, Alex? Uh, at Lake Eufaula. <laughs> hey, maybe I will ride by on Lake Eufaula. We do have some family who has a house up there. And we've been, you know, we we go up to Lake Eufaula, you know, quite often, I guess, a few times a year. So you never know when you may see me. But I uh, might want to look for the uh, look for this for the skiff more often than the sea door because it's just a quick day trip up there. I'll probably be taking the skiff. All right, see y'all. Take care.